So, what's this place called again? The library. We need at least three primary sources for our report on snakes of the Bible. Why did we suddenly have to do this primary source stuff? You know what we did in kindergarten? Finger paints, and it was pretty great. Uh, Gabe? We're not in kindergarten anymore. You got that right, Leo. Kindergarten was way better than this. I'm gonna get something to eat. So, I'll just do the rest of the report myself then? Hello? Let's see, macaroni and cheese, macaroni and cheese. Eh. Ah! Macaroni and cheese is a nightmare. Back when I was a kid, it would just appear out of nowhere. Ah! None of this cooking nonsense. Ugh. This doesn't taste right at all. Wait, you have to heat it up too? This is ridiculous. I'm out of here. Oh, Moses, why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? Look out, snakes! Gabe, it's your line. It's my line again? Why do I have so many lines for this Sunday school skit? When I was little, all we had to do was cherub choir songs. Please, next time, won't you sing with me? So what do you want to do, Gabe? Go back to being a baby? No, all I'm saying is being a little kid was way easier. Now there's book reports, chores, and <laughs> making food. Where does it all end, Ruby? Gabe, I'm going to say this as nicely as I can. Grow up. That was saying it nicely? It's part of nature, Gabe. You can handle it. Unless you want to be in cherub choir when you're 80. Next time, won't you sing? That's absurd. I wouldn't need dentures. I brush my teeth twice a day. The point is that it's part of God's plan that you grow up and do more. But how am I supposed to deal with all this new hard stuff? Just blindly stumble through it? That's part of it. But you could also try looking to God. It's like what Pastor Pete said when they made him upgrade from his typewriter. Look to God through painful transitions. <laughs> All right, Ruby. I guess you make a good point. I do. I'm very smart. Snake attack! Thank you.